very important process in the CSSD, the sterilizers, so under thermometric method. We all know about um, sterilization and we all know that sterilization is performed in an autoclave. In the hospital, most of them are using steam sterilizers, so they are using steam autoclaves, huge ones, and um, most of them are um, high-tech ones uh, good with, uh, from good brands. Um, but there are also some laboratory-scale autoclaves, um, which is not really different with the kind of autoclaves that we use in the pharmaceutical processes and even in the food processes. But one thing that you should know here is the the other sterilizers for other important materials in the hospitals, such as, you know, the face mask, um, the N95 mask, surgical mask, and other PPEs. Um, most of uh, these are sterilized by ethylene oxide um, chambers. We are also guided by um, a standard when dealing with autoclaves in hospitals, which is the ISO 17665. Hope everyone is still awake. Okay, the important preconditions for a sterilization. Um, well, as we mentioned a while ago, uh, cleaning and disinfection processes must be validated. Why? Because it's hardly possible for an object or material that are not clean to be sterilized. Okay, then um, the proper drying, maintenance of instruments, the packaging, and maintained sterilizer. You have to um, know this very well. Uh, a maintained sterilizer. Uh, it means that it should be a properly working autoclave. The correct loading, the correct product program selection, and the validated sterilization processes and the routine control processes. So these are the your checklist um, for um, sterilization procedures. Now here we go again with IQ, OQ, and PQ, uh, because it is mentioned also by the ISO 17665. Um, to your left, uh, the commissioning refers to new equipment, and ref uh, this also includes the refurbished equipment. Um, and then to the right is the PQ, um, which is a cycle that completes the IQ, OQ, but it is also valid for already used autoclaves in the hospital CSSD units. Okay, these are the necessary preparations, um, the charge or batch composition. And the software is actually very specific on charge numbers, but this is actually referring to other applications as the batch numbers or lot numbers. Stereo goods, the packaging, the weight, which is very important for the temperature equilibration conditions, and um, all sample loadings must be documented and photographed. This is how it is in the CSSD units in the hospitals, because everything must be properly documented. So we have here the sequence um, with the OQ. Uh, I'd like to go immediately to number four, the checks, the conductivity of feed water vacuum test, BD, the Bowie and Dick test, or helix test, empty chamber profile, thermometric check with partial loading, thermometric check with full loading, and sometimes even the thermometric check for empty uh, chambers. I went to number four immediately because this is where EBRO um, can really help the CSSD units. 
we will go to the BD test or the Bowie and Dick test um, in detail later. Okay, then we go to the general information, the summary of the results, uh, preconditioning for the performance qualification, the checks, and this is what um, I am going to elaborate on and the determination of routine controls. Number five relies heavily on the responsibility of the CSSD operators, but they have to base all of these routine controls SOP to the results that they, that they got from all the checks that they performed. Validation of processes in steam serializers. Um, well, uh, it needs to check um, the condition with partial loading and the condition in full loading configurations. And um, there's no shortcut for validating steam serializers in the hospitals. So here you go. Um, I'm sharing this photo of myself and Melia because it could help you when you try to go out and buy your groceries. Um, no, I'm just joking. Um, it must, uh, the validation must be performed by only by authorized personnel and who are knowledgeable about the regulations, the standards and the norms. The reason why I like this um, illustration is because this is how the WinLog Met and the WinLog validation software will be able to present the kind of running condition and operating condition of your autoclaves. It is the most comprehensive I have ever seen. Um, so if you look at this temperature curves, um, the most important one, if I will ask you, you might say it is the holding time or the, or the equilibration time. My answer to you is all of these stages are important. And this is why optimizing and maximizing the use of the WinLog validation and the WinLog med software um, must be optimized by the users so they should know how to operate the software to the smallest detail because why number one the evacuation the air evacuation you know you don't know how important it is for the CSST operators to know that everything inside the autoclave is 100% saturated steam. This to them is very important because it will be affecting the heat penetration capabilities of the autoclave and the process. Reaching the sterilization conditions, um, this is from the SOPs and the standards, very well explained in the standards. Interpretation of the thermometric measurement, which I can explain to you one by one, and most of you should know this already. The measuring values outside the tolerances. Why is this important? Because you are dealing with medical products and that's the that's the bottom line. And now the SOPs, all the instructions from operating procedures and other procedures that are um, requiring details. So still according to ISO 17665, you will see here the importance of measuring pressure um, in your processes because not only is pressure directly proportional to, pre uh, to temperature but it's also very much a factor for heat penetration and keeping the equilibration time um, um, criteria. We have all the solutions for all that we have talked about um, in the succeeding slides. 
um, we have the most suitable data loggers for, for this application, for the washer and disinfection, and also for sterilization. Um, and actually the most practical configuration. Instead of buying four loggers for one measuring point to be placed and fixed in their correct locations, Ebro can provide you with only one logger, but with long, um, flexible thermo um, PT1000 sensors, such as this picture on your rep, uh, right. And we also have, um, as an option, the mini loggers, the EBI11. The conductivity logger, which is very important for washer disinfection processes, um, it is a good trend that we started with Ebro, um, and I think it is being copied now by some of the competition, but we are faring very well. We have the pressure sensors with temperature sensors and the Bowie and Dig test um, logger. So this is a good alternative for your chemical indicators um, for your Bowie and Dig procedures for autoclaves. And it is certified according to ISO 11140-4 by an independent laboratory. So the Bowie and Dig test logger, the EBI-16, is simulating not only the towel pad test in the autoclaves, but also the heat penetration test and the temperature measurement inside the chamber, and also the pressure measurements as converted into theoretical steam temperatures. So it's like a three-in-one or four-in-one data logger. Then I have this, um, mentioned there's some softwares that are very important for all those that we have talked about, um, the wind log validation and the wind log med. 